When I first read the screenplay for Transcendence, halfway through the script, I realized I get access to all the porn in the world. Blonde, threesomes, gangbangs, cocky, Chinese, Japanese. I like Asian girls. I'm wearing my glasses today because Johnny Depp wears glasses. This movie has like a negative 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. And oh boy, I have a feeling I'm about to get a lot of shit for what I'm about to say. I really enjoyed the hell out of this movie. I appreciated the hell out of this concept. I thought it was one hell of a fascinating time. Apparently I really believe in hell. Sure, it has some very apparent flaws, like fat people. <laughs> but overall, it's a very interesting science fiction picture. Just the concept of hooking up your consciousness to a super computer. I would love to hook my consciousness up to a MacBook Pro and then edit all day long. You guys will get so many more trailer reactions. I found a way to develop trailer reactions and make them more advanced than ever. The greatest reaction you'll ever see. And from what I hear, they're actually pretty close to developing this technology. So get ready to get pissed off, all you Christians out there. I really don't see what the problem is everyone has with this movie. It starts off genuinely intriguing, and unlike a lot of Hollywood movies, it actually has some really good character in it. Johnny Depp as well something or another. Look, look at Johnny Depp. Uh... He turns in a significantly more subtle performance, and he does a great job at it. Like, the first 30 minutes of this film, he's a human being, and I totally believe him as this guy. And when he's a computer, sure, he's a little bit robotic, but he's a fucking computer. What else do you expect? Scarlett Johansson from her? Damn, dude, I would bang that voice. And when he becomes the computer, the trailers made it look like he becomes super bad guy at that point, which is how the characters do react to him. But here's the funny thing. I was on his side the whole time. I'm like, he's healing the fucking world. Let him do his thing. What the fuck is wrong? with everyone in this movie? Stupid people. I hope this does not happen in real life when they hook up Johnny Depp to a computer. Yeah, whatever. He's toying with nature, humanity. <laughs> but don't we do that all the fucking time? Have you ever been in California and seen the air? It is polluted. I get stoned every time I walk outside. There has to be at least one main character that supports this, so I thought it was kind of a flaw. Rebecca Hall as Depp's wife. To me, she's the real star of this movie. She has great character moments, very emotional. I love her, like, descent into confusion and madness. You know, you see it coming. Like, oh, is this good? Is this bad? I can't have sex with him, so is this really worth it? I felt like she's the one who carried this whole movie. Like, when she's sad, you feel sad. My only problem with her performance, she did not get me horny. Then you got a bunch of other stars in this movie. You got Morgan Freeman doing his... Morgan Freeman thing. Then you got the great character actor, Chillian Murphy, playing a normal cop. That's right, they got this awesome actor to play a very normal performance. But Paul Bettany, he reprised his role as the albino in this movie. I'm kidding, if any of you people believe me, then you're fucking retarded. In case you guys don't know who he is, he is a significantly less successful actor in the relationship he has with Jennifer Connelly. Oh, come on, Jennifer Connelly's way more famous. More work. He gets more work, but she's he way more bigger, famous. He gets more and bigger work. Like what? Well, I mean, the Wimbledon. Fact that he's been in more movies than Wimbledon. Between Noah and whatever the last thing Jennifer Connelly did, what was the last thing? Dude, she's won an Oscar. I she was. She has. was. In, he's. She's just not. He's just not that into you. A beautiful mind. Yeah, Requiem for like a, a dream. Long time ago. Noah. She's been named one of the sexiest people in the world. When's Paul Bettany been named that? Oh, well, he may have been on one of those lists. He's pretty hot. No, he's not that hot. Yeah, he is. No. I'm looking him up. Don't agree. And he was in a beautiful mind too. So that one. Oh, yeah, he was in a beautiful mind. He was in Priest. Yes. And the tourist. Anyway, yeah, Paul Bettany's character arc in this movie, it's great. And him and Johnny Depp really know what box office smash hits to collide on. And you got one of my favorite actresses from the first season of American Horror Story, Kate Mara. <laughs> yeah. My penis is thinking some thoughts right now. I would love to have sex with her and her sister, Rooney Mara. My only problem is, uh, I wouldn't want to say the name Rooney during sex. It just sounds weird. Like, oh, Rooney. I feel like I'm talking to a guy. I'd probably call her, like... Michelle or something. But anyway, yeah, Kate, she does a great job. Now the directing from Waller Feister. He's like the main cinematographer for like a shit ton of Nolan films. Now with his direction, I thought it was a little interesting, sometimes a little off. Yes, yeah, cinematography looks gorgeous throughout, absolutely. The first 40 minutes of this film is what I love the most. It's where they have a lot of their ideas, it's where a lot of the debate of technology goes on. That's where they explore Rift a lot, the anti-technology terrorist group, and it's great shit. Now this film, it's a little weird in tone, because a lot of films that start off slow, and a lot of them will build and go faster and faster. This film starts off like at a reasonable pace, then gets faster and more intense, and then it slows down quite a lot, actually. They go to like 
desert world. But I actually liked everything that was going on with Slow Down. Once you readjust to it, you see that there's a lot of great character moments. I like all the shit that Johnny Depp's character is building, like all the technology to like heal humans, be, you know, technological Jesus Christ. It was fucking awesome. I just thought this film goes in directions that are very imaginative. And the trailer tries to make it look like this super suspenseful movie. It's not, but it's, you know, it's more of a drama. It actually has a little bit of a poetic tale about it, about technology. So yeah, I dug the film. Johnny Depp, whenever he's on screen, I just fucking love watching him. I want to suck his dick. Well, let me get straight to the point here. All in all, I gotta see Transcendence got it right and right. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my review for Transcendence. Why don't you go ahead, scroll that comment box below, and tell me. If you were able to hook yourself up to a computer, what would you do? I don't know. And if you want to see more episodes of Straight to the Point, and I want to throw it out there, uh, Jerry and I are going to be doing a spoiler review of Transcendence, so keep a lookout for that. And while you're at it, go check out his first impressions video, where he gives his solo review about Transcendence. He's in the car, recording himself. Yeah, I record myself sometimes too, but it's not for reviews. I'm jacking off. And last but not least, if you want to get updated every time one of my reviews or videos is out, go ahead and click on this button on my dick to subscribe. That's right. The dick. Let me tell you something about this little willy. He's going to upload some consciousness tonight. Porn.